If you're a buyer in today's housing market, it's safe to say your hair is thinning if you haven't pulled it out already. Buyers all over the nation have put their home searches on hold and sat back down on the sidelines after the housing market has continued to chew them up and spit them back out again. But before you start pointing fingers at the housing market, I want to point my finger back at you and talk about the biggest mistake home buyers are making in this market today. What's going on everyone? If you're new to this channel, my name is Andrew McManaman. I'm a licensed real estate professional in Michigan and I help buyers and sellers with their dream. In this video, I'm going to talk about the mistakes you're making in this housing market. Well, not just you, you're getting influenced just a little bit and I'll tell you how. But before I do, I wanna tell you a little bit about why buyers like you are simply giving up on the American dream. There was a survey done a little while back by one of the large real estate giants out there where they surveyed 850 consumers and determined that four out of 10 people who are looking to buy a home have put off their home search until next year. With that in mind, what's going through their heads? Well, for starters, there's some uncertainty with COVID-19 in the market still, especially with the newer variant coming out and causing even more concerns than before. Secondly, the market is just flat out intimidating. Just two years ago, I had a few clients who viewed a home one night, slept on the decision, then slept a little longer on the decision, and was still able to get an offer accepted with that delay. In today's chaos, you better have an offer in hand when you're viewing the home, or you'll miss out, especially when you're seeing homes on the market for four to seven days with a bidding war between 10 agents and offer so above asking price you wonder what bank they robbed to make that happen. On top of that, agents are putting a little pressure on their clients to pull the trigger and make a decision. I hope not to push the sale, but rather because they understand how the market has been acting lately. Thirdly, there just aren't enough homes on the market, plain and simple, which has been driving demand and creating this mass intimidation factor. As for the buyers who want to sell, their head is spinning a thousand miles per hour trying to figure out where to live next. Do you live on Uncle John's couch for a little bit? Do you make space in Aunt Edna's basement? Or worse, move in with your relative where their spouse and them barely get along. The options are endless, but all jokes aside, this is the reality of what's going on through a seller's head. They are willing to throw their homes up for sale without even having a plan, just so they can have a little more money in their pocket, not realizing that they sold at a premium and they have to buy at one too. If you have a place you can fall back on and call home temporarily, it may not be a bad way to go, but I know that is even hard to come by these days. Lastly, buyers are putting more and more offers in than ever before. A couple years ago, you could view one house, submit one offer, and get one offer accepted. In this market, it's a little unlikely unless you rob the bank that I mentioned before. With that in mind, buyers biggest concerns are finding a home they love that's within budget, are paying too much for a home, finding a neighborhood they actually wanna live in, interest rates rising, and finding major concerns after moving in that's going to empty whatever savings they have left. On the other hand, there's buyers who are taking full advantage of the market slowing down, bidding wars have eased up a little bit, and believe it or not, more sellers are making price adjustments. Why is the market slowing down? A couple of reasons actually. More buyers are taking a seat, reducing competition. The kiddos are going back to school, so that is a plus one for buyers and a minus one for sellers. And of course, it comes down to the seasons as well. People like to move when it's nice and warm. Most people don't want to get their U-Haul stuck in Michigan winters. With that being said, there's some mistakes being made that you need to be aware of. It's not necessarily your fault, but bear with me. Your brain has been taken over or hypnotized by the media and the keyboard warriors alike. When you think about the housing market, you imagine this sinking ship that just happens to be on fire too. You're assuming the worst and it's going to get you in a lot of trouble if it happens hasn't already. Maybe it's your real estate agent that's filling your head and saying it's impossible that you have to offer 300000 over asking price, waive the inspection, include a gift card for dinner for two, and sacrifice your firstborn child. All that within the due diligence period of five days. That's exactly why it's important to have the right real estate agent on your side, especially in this market, to make it known that homeownership is possible. 
Don't assume the worst and take a seat on the sidelines like every other buyer is doing. The best way to avoid these unrealistic demands is to have your agent contact the listing agent and ask a simple question. What are your sellers looking for in an offer? It seems clear and obvious, but based on real life experience, the conversations I have had with some buyer's agents for my listings had me really second guessing their intentions for their clients. For example, why would you hop on the phone and give me a verbal offer of $15,000 over the asking price if you don't even know if there's another offer or if anyone else has even toured the home? Exactly, it doesn't make too much sense to me either. Moral of the story is, don't get discouraged as a home buyer in this market. Be patient, stay on the lookout, and don't overload yourself with so many opinions that your hair starts turning gray. I hope this video lifted the heads of a couple home buyers out there. If yours is lifted so high you're staring at the ceiling, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell to be notified every single time I come out with a new video, and please give it a thumbs up. Hang in there, home buyers.